Okay, so we're going to get this started because the Young Bucks are in the house. Yeah. And this boy showed up to every damn content party I've ever been to. And he's always out here causing problems, and I love it. I'm here for the fuckery. <laughs> this is the fuckery young buck, young bull right here. What problems? Listen, I'm not about to talk about it, but listen, tell him your name. My, na- my real name? Tell them the name that you want them Look, to know I you by. I go by Lassa Yayo, you know what I'm saying? On Instagram, it's Trap Yayo. Everything else is Trap Yayo, but when it comes to like my content, it's Lassa Yayo. My adult content. Your adult content. Yeah, and yeah. We, tell them your name, so, so that way they can... I go by uh, Frozetta on Instagram. It's Froze, nigga, and, but on Twitter, but on the fans' content, Frozetta. So, you know you're going to have to tell people how to spell that, right? It's F-R-O-Z-E-Z-E-T-T-A-H. I knew it. Twitter. Told you. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> and on Instagram is F R O Z E N I K K A. Okay. And tell the people what you guys came to G- Girls Gone Wireless for, what you're here for. You guys are male talent, correct? Yeah. Right. So I met you maybe about a year. You done, you done ran through it in a year, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kinda. I was at his very first content party. He was just a, was little, just a little baby. <laughs> little baby on a yacht. <laughs> yeah, I was acting. We had up. a good time though, but you definitely um you came in and I I actually admire you because you did stick to it. I really thought that you was gonna just goof the fuck off because you was. I came in drunk. I was drinking every day. Oh my god, did, you Super and drunk. who was your friend? Um, I'm sleep. I'm sleeping. Who came in? Was it you? No, not not yeah. Draco. Okay. One, it was your homeboy came in. He just thought he was gonna come in there and crawl into my bed like a little baby, and try to get me to give him a massage. And I'm like, sir. <laughs> I don't shoot for him, bro. I'm here for the thought of thought. Get the fuck out. He would not. He was so wasted. He literally passed. I had to go get him to drag him out of my bed. Eventually, I just went to another room. He would not leave me the fuck bro. alone. He was like, nah, it's cool. I'm sorry. He's wasted. I'm like, this, please go get your when boy. We, when we first came into it, you know, we just, I thought it was, I thought it wasn't business. I thought it was all you fun. You just thought it was a party, right? Yeah, a big ass party. Yeah. But it's a party, but it's still like, you got to handle your business at the same yeah. time. But so. I'm, I'm impressed, man. I'm not going to lie, because I really thought you were just going to come in there and fuck a bunch of bitches and leave. How long have I you mean, been doing that content? Happened? I've been doing content probably like, <laughs> that happened too. I say a year. Oh, guys, you guys were around the same yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, put it, I put them on. I introduced them to everybody. And How many of your friends it. have you put on to the game? <laughs> I try to put on every one, you know, because being a good friend, I try to put all of them on, but some of them fuck up the opportunity. Some of them stick with it. It just depends on them. Yeah, that's dope. How are, you, how are you enjoying it? How am I enjoying just it? Just like the experience of doing porn. Oh, yeah. you, I, I mean, like I'm it. sure it's, you didn't think fun. a year and a half ago you was going to be out here just slaying a dick. I really didn't, but it's like, I can tell, like, it's really worked. It ain't, it ain't what you think it is. Like, you might think it's so easy, but it might... For some people, it, it ain't, ain't easy. easy. No, it ain't easy. I mean, it's especially definitely. for men, I think it's even right. harder because, like, a woman at the end of the day, you can throw some lube on it and get fucked. You right, know what I mean? Right, like, right, you guys right. actually have to get your dick up. You gotta get right. hard. It's all hard. That. Like, how? What do you guys do to keep yourself in that mindset where you can just keep going all day? Y'all see Alisers or y'all I just see, young bulling it? No, I just um, I just, I just, I just, I just think her. money. I just be thinking about the money. Money. Yeah. And my dick stay hard with the okay. money. You know, right? So. <laughs> And you like, let me just focus right here. Yeah. Like, I don't like, it's like when it happened, I only see the cameras. Yeah. It's like, I don't even see the cameras. Even though right it might be in my, right here, I don't really see it. Though. What's the most amount of scenes you did in, in a day? I only went to about three content parties. Okay. So in a day, so what's I the most think probably five, four. That's not like, you know, most people ain't getting that much pussy, bro, in a week. And you yeah. did that in a day. That's kind of. I did like five, four. What? What's the most you did? I don't know. Nah, stop. I don't went. I don't went. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't been the only dude like on the yacht with like a I bunch know. of girls. So I was it's there. like, <laughs> oh yeah, they just use. <laughs> they just use and abuse me. So yeah, yeah he I came on, man. I, oh my god, he was like, it was like a gazelle walking through a lion's den at the first pink party. I lost party. my yeah. phone. I dropped it in the ocean. They was like drunk. fresh meat. They was about to fuck Hell him yeah. up. I loved it though. Nah, facts. But that's dope, man. I'm glad you guys came through and got to check it out. I'm glad you guys are still doing stuff with Girls on Wireless. Of course. And compared to other events like that you've been to, what have you noticed like a major difference between like Girls Gone Wireless and some of the other content parties that you've dealt with? This one more. Organized. It's, 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 more, it's organized and it's also like more people just. You got Thor's ass right there. <laughs> it's, it's different shapes and sizes and stuff like that. So it's, it's still dope because everybody get love. Everybody get the same type yeah. of love. They all got a different type of fan base. You got right. people over here with this fan base and this one. So it's you can just diverse. tap in. Yeah, you it's can just tap into type. a bunch of fans. That's dope. Right. I figured, I figured what, what, Have you guys found like what your fans like the most that you shoot with? Like, do they like you shoot with thick girls or skinny girls? They like a certain type of type of thing that your fan base likes? My fan base, actually, they like, they like my solo content, but they, they like... 
when I do content with like they like like when me and my homeboys. I'm sorry, smiling because Thor is walking around butt naked behind us. Nah, it's just a big <laughs> dick. And it's just funny because I know we Thor. Like I know Thor as a friend, so it's oh, I just it cracks me up to when I see when I see his penis. Oh, man. <laughs> man. But, but um, they like like basically when, like me and my homeboys do like a gang the bang gang bangs. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my fans like the most. So. Yeah. That's the same for you. Yeah, mine's like gang bangs. Uh, what is about guys so, that like gangbangs so much? Why do y'all? It's just, do we like it? No, just like even like yeah, I feel like a lot of dudes always like I've had when I used to escort, I have dudes call me up, be like, "Will you do a gangbang?" And I'm like, "That's too much. Like, I don't want to do that." At I think first, it's the, I ain't like it. I think it's the feeling of putting like I think it's the feeling of like putting putting your dog on, like giving getting your partner yeah. some pussy. Like yeah. it's the feeling of like, oh yeah, bro, I got a girl. She about to do both of us and yeah. your friends. Like, oh for real, she gonna do me too. It's like more of that, like it's more like feeling like more thing. feeling like yeah, I'm the dude. I just got you some yeah, pussy. Yeah, all that stuff. Okay, but but you didn't like it at first. At first, I didn't like it, like because I, I was new to it. So I'm like, what? Be in front of all these, we, all these dudes. Is it weird? Sometimes I don't even know half of these dudes I'm around. <laughs> and just looking at dick. Well, I think too. It's I like, think, but I like I say, I try to tune out, tune yeah. it out. Like I don't see it. I so. think too, like before you get into this industry, there's a lot of misconceptions of what people will like consider like gay they're like right. oh that might be gay so you're kind of worried about like what right. what image you right. have but right. when you get yeah. around you're like bro this is so like not yeah. that like it's yeah, fact. so it's just strictly business, yeah like, it's not yeah. So, that's exactly what i thought so you guys got um have you guys done any scenes this weekend yet already oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah? yeah. who yeah. is there any favorites that you've got to shoot with <laughs> favorites like yeah mm, no or just anybody that you've been wanting to shoot he with got a, he got a scene I, um i shot his scene um <laughs> Girl threw up on his dick. Yeah, threw up. She threw, she threw up. Yeah, threw but up. Damn, I told him. Long? I told him keep it professional because like it. his facial <laughs> expression showed that he was like, you know, he was like, yeah. The he fuck? was like, kind of yeah, like curious, like, are you okay? But she got back to it like it ain't even happened. Yeah. But I didn't know that was a fetish. The throw up stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know either until I accidentally threw up on someone's dick one time. I had ate a bunch of watermelon and that shit came right, right Bro, back. That's it was water. watermelon. Uh-huh. Oh, watermelon. Shit. It's a that's lot of crazy. water, so it just fills your stomach up. That's she crazy. Threw up watermelon. Yeah. That's crazy. He was stuff. like, "Bro, that shit made me crazy." The commitment. Like right. he was like, just turned Bro. him on. Yeah. Yeah. Not, don't suck. Don't eat a lot of watermelon before you suck dick. You nah, definitely no throw watermelon it up. With, no. with the dick. It don't mix. Definitely <laughs> no don't, watermelon. Don't mix. It's something definitely else. Don't mix. Is there anybody that's like not here today that you like that you've been like I really want to shoot with that person? Or like even a company. Is there a company that you've been wanting to fuck with it? Um Brazzers, of course. You wanna you wanna shoot Brazzers? Of yeah, course. I feel like that's like one of the big stepping stones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Point um, up, point up. Females. <laughs> Any uh I don't know. No? No. Not really too much. Who? Who you think? Um I mean we it's like anybody, your, you know what I mean? It could be like um, I've just really been wanting to knock that one down. Uh, like anyone want to hit a shoe with? Either one. Tatted some on Twitter. What is his name? What's her name, Who? bro? Tatted on. Um, I forget her name. Oh, it's on Twitter. No, I know the girl. She got a husband though. Okay. But she she keep the hair there. She Brazilian. Yeah. yeah. This is the second time today somebody said you know that they want to bring the hair back on the pussy. She like, got the hair there. She Brazilian and shit. She got a husband though, but I don't know. Oh, I think I do. Know. Does her husband do porn too? The yeah. The, yeah, yeah, the dude. She's and, he's a girl. big dude, right? Yeah, like he's like yeah. a big porn guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah she's she's fire though. Yeah, yeah she's fire. That's that's one I take down for do sure. Y'all, did y'all are y'all missing like having the little hairy pussy back or? Y'all? No, I like it. I like that shit. Oh yeah. Let me get a little something. Look at that. Can he open? No yeah. more locked doors. Yeah. Gotta show the hospitality. Hey, you know what I mean? I had uh, to yeah. bring the bull. I had to bring the young bull. Yes, sir. We got Unk in here. You know. We got Unk in here, man. I seen him jump off the top floor. Oh, I don't want it. Like, you don't want it from Florida? Yeah, What's wrong with Florida? Cali. Hey, believe it. No, I'm good. I appreciate it. I just can't do the backwoods one right time. now. One time. One time. Y'all good money? No, yeah, we straight. You good. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. He jumped off the top row in the pussy just like Tell you. That one. You, yeah. j- you jumped off the top row floor into some pussy. What? Unc was wilding last night. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> I need to know about this one. He was wilding. Last was night, one of those nights. They was doing an orgy up in there. He Ooh, was wilding. Oh, strong. That back leg. Oh, good God. Ugh. Oh, man. I can't smoke him right now. Is this my water? Oh, God. I keep trying to smoke him and it's not working. I got to stop. I mm. Because I want to be high. All right. All right. I'll go joint. Please roll me a joint. I cannot joint. smoke him no more. It's like papers joint. over. Backwards. <clears throat> I just had surgery in my throat, so I can't like okay. I what? can't smoke tobacco. What was wrong with your throat? I mean, I feel like I keep saying it, but today, but um, my throat collapsed. So oh, yeah. from just deep throwing too much over the you years, know, I was boy. escorting for so long that I was. For real? Just, mm-hmm. Your throat collapsed. 
Oh, I just had surgery like a month yeah, ago. Okay, they okay, took I it see. all out. I don't even got the dangly thing yeah, no more. So up top? Them. So they you can't make it? Out. You don't got the dangly shit? Mm-hmm. No, so you don't never be about to throw up or nothing? No? We're going to see. I ain't sucked a dick since. It was just three weeks ago. So really? oh, I got damn. three more weeks where I can suck dick and about the same to get on the airplane. So we're going to see. It's going to go to the highest bidder. That shit crazy. Was it? She's ready. Highest bidder. Who wants the first dick suck after a throat? Oh, yeah. After Look at me getting a little, we get a little. Excuse me, sir. You're blocking our view. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Screw to the side. Screw to the side. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we got to see it. Get a little Believe. background. This is just a couple of shit that you're going to see over here at Girls Gone it's Wireless. Wild. Everyone's shooting it's everywhere. Wild. Like, Kendra's so down with everything. And it's so dope. And I'm just glad that you guys came. Because I, I didn't think you guys were going to come. I'm actually glad. Because oh, yeah. I be fucking with him every every party. I, she didn't like me at first. No, it's not that I didn't like you. You just irritated my soul. Because I was young? No, it's because you act young. What? But you, I feel like since the first day I met you to today, you have like grown yeah, in your yeah, yeah, like when you first came, you like what up? What up? We about to get what's good? You not drinking? I'm like, bro, calm down. Yeah. I thought this shit was a party. I seen a bunch of I know, girls well, but shit, also but. the 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 group that we went with the first time, that's definitely a little more their style. Like they really getting there to get fucked up. They're gonna get content all day. They're they're mm-hmm. hustlers, but they definitely want to get Everybody fucked up a party too. Up, yeah. yeah, that was just that group. That was Miami was crazy. Mm-hmm. What? I was lit as hell. And you, <laughs> yeah, you I was guys drunk as fuck. I stopped drinking though. I had stopped drinking so. In general, like, you don't drink no more. Nah, nah, I ain't drunk in like a year. Yeah, a oh, year. Dang. That's what. I, that's what I think fixed it though. Mm-hmm. What getting in the porn? Sure. Just stop drinking. I could be more professional. Like when yeah. I used to drink, I just used to be like, fuck this. That's crazy. I think most people in the world would assume that like, oh, you in porn, you probably getting fucked up and just fucking everything all the time. And, like, the fact that porn actually got you to chill yeah. the fuck out is. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. crazy as fuck. You got to focus sometimes on business yeah. more than That's, the party. Oh, I'm proud of you. Like, you little young buck over here, man. She See this progression in the game. I she can't hated wait. Me, bro. She knows she hated me. I didn't hate you. You just irritated me. If I hated you, you would have got punched. I in remember the face. you were talking about this podcast and everything. Yeah, but remember I did the we had did an obstacle course out there that time. But that was when Tori was there. Yeah, he was supposed to come judge the event. Didn't show up. The event ended up going down at nighttime. This would be a daytime thing. And so the film, like, we didn't really get uh, as much film of or footage as I would like. And plus, I didn't have my, you know, my A1 over there. He wasn't with us either, so. Where he was at? Where he been at? I don't know. Why didn't you go to Miami? Oh, it was kind of on a fluke, I felt like I went. It was, like, last minute. Oh, you, you were still with, you were still with the other company. Yeah. Yeah, he was still with the company, so he couldn't just take off like that. So I had... Wes and Twerk God and a couple other people come film it for me. So, but this is the guy. You guys are in Vegas. You guys need to hit up him for sure because he's always down to shoot. So, well, thank you guys. Let everybody know one more time who you guys are and where they can follow you if they want your content. For my OnlyFans stuff, you know, all my adult stuff is lots of Yayo. For Instagram and everything else, it's Trap Yayo. You know what I'm saying? All right. Man, it's your boy Frozetta. Frozetta. uh, Twitter, (laughs) F R O Z E Z E T T A H. Instagram, froze nigga, F R O Z E N I K K A. He so it, he gonna switch I, that listen, though. Listen, the fact yeah. that you even said that just made me like a mama bro, he like gonna, mama bear proud. Because in a year ago you were like, nah, keep that. Nah, Fuck nah, these nah, he bitches. They don't. <laughs> he gonna switch. He gonna switch the name, I love man. This we get you. Get, we get. We get, we get right, into man. it. Yeah. I feel like I'm probably a mama bear right now, bro. Like, I appreciate you though. I appreciate you, man. We're gonna have you come back and do like a real interview at the at the studio one day and just really do some shit. So. All right, that's a All right, we about to find some more bitches to get. Yeah, and we about to go shoot with the bitches. Bye. Appreciate that. Have fun. All right, y'all. So we steady here over at the Girls Gone Wireless event. We getting a lot of good content today. Meeting a lot of dope people. And you guys, this is my first time meeting y'all. I'm doing nice good. Nice to meet it you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what's your guys' names? And tell us what you guys, what brought you guys over to Girls Gone Wireless. Yeah, I bet. It's your boy, <laughs> Stretch. You know what I'm saying? If you know Stretch, you know Stretch. If you don't, you gon' know Stretch. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, I've been doing this for about like maybe like eight years. You know what I'm talking about? You've been selling dick for eight years? I've been selling some dick for about eight years. Okay, At least right. professionally, you know what I'm talking about? You add the other ones a little less. I mean, if you're selling it, isn't it professional? <laughs> yeah, it, yes, it is. Yes, okay, it is. Well, you know, you know yeah, it's a profession, man. It's a class of business. <laughs> I'm it's a class of business. With you. Me. What's up? So tell me, what's your name? Who How you, you doing, folks? Y'all know what it do. It's the K Berg 305, aka with the color of the burgundy, you know. Always <laughs> going on. We always in this bitch. 305 in the city, you feel me? Gang shit, no lane yeah, shit. Yeah, you feel me? So, so so everyone else who you guys are, like you guys are the male talent, right? Are you guys are yes, so yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Most deaf. Putting so, it down <laughs> for the pound time. You guys are ready. How long you how long have you been in it? 
Uh, shit, nine and a half years now. So y'all just vets in this shit. Yeah, yeah, nice yeah. I can't even make it up. Yeah, how'd you like, get started in it? Me? Yeah. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I was really like a hoe, like a major hoe. Ho. I ain't even gonna Slut or hoe? There's a ho. difference. I was a hoe. So was you was ho. selling dick? No, no, no. This is for free at the time. I was that slut. This is for free. Hey. Don't offend. Yeah, don't, 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 don't offend, don't offend nope. hoes. No, 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 nah, no, nah. no, no. As long as, I, as long as I get what I want out of it, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't I mean, like necessarily for free. Sometimes, sometimes nigga was for. Hey, 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 hey. That ain't cool. True. Yeah, that, <laughs> that so ain't, you were slutting. Cool. All right, you were slutting. All right, kind of. I was slutting. But this is, right. what I'm this is what I'm trying to say. I was dropping dick off, hefty dick. You feel what I'm talking about? So it got to a point, and I was like, damn, they not appreciating my dick. Mm -hmm. So I took it off the market. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And that's how I got in the game. I was like, <laughs> that's, how I got in the game. that's how I got in the game. I went to the stripper club. You feel me? And it all started from there. Then I met Habib. You know who Habib is? Mm -mm. Habib Shout out to show. Habib, bro. Oh, man. Shout out to my man. Habib, Habib, man. Yeah. Habib, 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 Habib helped a lot of us. Habib brother. helped me, too. For real, for real. Well, me, I did my first shoot with Habib, and that's how I was like, I got really oh, wow. popular He helped all the little niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's niggas dope. Get a little shine. Yeah. Come on, yeah. up. That's what's up. So he, he's a photographer. He's got a whole production. He, he a whole, whole production. Whole production. Okay, whole okay production. that's what's up. See, I'm really putting me on game because I didn't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah, right. yeah. So wait, so what's your what's your get in story? What got you? Oh, uh, I started off, you know, male exotic dancer. You feel okay. me? Um, that's how I, I paid my way through SDSU. Shout out class of 2017. Did you uh, just say SDSU? Yeah. You're from San Diego, right? Ah, man, I stayed in Chula Vista, man. Oh, see, I'm, from I'm from South East. Uh, uh, you East said you are Lemon Grove. Yeah, yeah. No, not Lemon Grove. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're I was in Kansas. Oh, you was in Kansas. Okay, I was in Kansas, okay, okay. 63rd Imperial. Okay, First of all, real Imperial. Southeast. Don't play with me. Okay, Come on all right. Now, right. Right. Way. You know, Look, I was just, I was just, I was, I was just, I was, no, see, I was a military kid. So, you know, okay, well, yeah. Stay here, talk to Y'all got a pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a pass. Y'all was swabbies. We got a pass. You know, swabbies around here. You ain't fuck with y'all. Yeah, yeah, man. That was. So but you was dancing out there? Dago, yeah, Dago. Shout out to Dago, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? They did have shout a little, out, shout uh, out to form. shout out to Tycoon too. Y'all feel what's going on? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Dago put me on in the game, man, and just learning on how to strategize in this world of this lifestyle. This you feel lifestyle. me? Yeah. So uh, I was working at Vans. It's a part-time manager, and I used to put fucking videos on YouTube dancing. And I guess uh, Chris. Shout out to my boy Chris. Saw my video on YouTube, came to my job, spent like a good like eight hundred dollars on shoes, bro, and then gave me his card and told me to come to LA. <laughs> and I and was dancing. Rap, was yeah, I left that that actually I drove up there that night, that two hours, drove up there. And then uh I watched the first night and then that Friday night I did my first performance. You like, just ready. Yeah. I was always was into stuck. It. I was I was stuck ever since, man. Oh, that's then dope. it became, you know. A businessman of pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Businessman of pleasure. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah businessman oh, of God. pleasure. And I love this lifestyle, man. It's, it's taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? It made me open up to a lot of things in this world of people, what people love and what people respect. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on top of that, too, you know what I'm saying? I've actually loved it because it, it, sh it showed my family, opened my family to a whole nother lifestyle. Yeah. So you're like my mama Dukes and you know what I'm saying? My aunties and shit because I'm the only boy, you know what I'm saying? They all understand this shit now. So yeah. I'll be, you know, bringing them to events and showing them mm -hmm. shit, you know that's what I'm saying? Dope. Different shit, you know what I'm saying? So they understand it and it's lit. It's yeah, lit that's very. dope. It's lit very, no it doubt. better than mine. She don't want to talk about it. <laughs> she don't want to talk about it. She don't want to hear it. Yeah. I tried to tell her excited. I don't want to hear that shit, boy. Yeah, 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 I yeah, did. yeah. She gets, she, gets, she gets the only part my mama be like, it's like the sex part, like, oh, you might be switching body fluids a lot. I'm like, bro, that's not even like that. We for real. swapped the souls. <laughs> we swapped the souls. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Still but you don't need to know that part, though. Swapping them, swapping them. need to know that part. But, yeah, man, this lifestyle has been great for the whole nine years. I've been doing this shit, man. I have no complaints. You know what I'm saying? And I love it. I meet a lot of great, humble people. I feel like, for me, it's not even about the money, for real, because I've been in this. I've been loving it, you know what I'm saying? But it's just the traveling. Yeah, Traveling. it's the freedom for me. It's the fucking love, being free. It's you the freedom saying? to be like I could just go where I want, I want when, I when I want, want. like yeah. and where I go I, I can still get a bag. And just like, make yeah. a bag. I, like I could go wherever and I'm still it's, gonna make money. Oh it's God, like like oh a God, vacation. Oh are, a lot of people, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, like I'm like I could never imagine like with like 
Vic kind of went through the similar, like the hustle, then you get kind of humbled by something that's like nine to five again. And you're like, bro, I can never give it up ever Yo, again. For real, for like, real. I need I was to have the freedom to do what the fuck I want to yeah. do. After I graduated from SDSU, I started working for Smithsonian. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> guys, was, yeah, I was doing an outside work. I became a, you know, um, assistant, assistant head, uh, you know, uh, well, I basically I said had a person to control everybody for the outside workers. And I did that shit for like what? San Diego all the way to the DMV. So I say like seven years. And then when I got to my fourth year in it, like my fourth year, like getting into porn, I said, fuck this job. Never, like, yeah. <laughs> I love Never. y'all. Put in my two weeks and I'm I was cool. out. And I've been Gucci ever since. And I still dro- I still go past the job and shit, see everybody. <laughs> like a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you, know yeah, you know what? Once, Sometimes look, I drive look, through the before city. Before the pandemic, before the pandemic of AVN, yeah. I went there, right? And I had like 300 ones and I went on the top of the <laughs> thing and I threw all the 300 ones. Like, you just like, fuck it. Yeah, that shit was cool. That's love. That was cool. That's that was dope. cool as fuck to all the foreigners and all that stuff. It was cool. It was cool. And I never look back. I never look back. <laughs> back. <laughs> Your homie's like, thanks, bird. Yeah, yeah but, you know I mean? so, so when you guys are here, have you guys shot any scenes while you've been here with yo, Girls Gone Wireless? Time, I, to right here for this event? No. You I, haven't. I haven't shot You've been waiting to get a haircut. Nah, my haircut. My haircut. Oh, okay. You know what? Well, you don't. I feel like you don't rush time. You don't rush time. The, the you, best, you the best, the best scenes come at the right moment. I'll be honest with you. I'll shoot rough, scruff, all that. Don't it don't that. matter. No, yeah. Do what's your do. Fa- what's your favorite uh, thing to shoot? Like, what's your favorite like genre? Like, you know what I mean? Is it the? To be honest with you, I I just love porn in itself. Like everything. Like, I'm not right. Like yeah. you, so there's not one that you're like I really want to hit. Like get that type of scene in or like. Nah, nah. nah. I'm gonna like, open. I'm gonna open book. Be spontaneous for real. That's like, the mm-hmm. that's the best the part about it. Just coming up with a creation of an idea so and then the putting it into work. So I ain't really got like though. No, you did. I'm not into. I probably I know what I don't really want to do. And all right. Well, what's your uh, what's your boundary then? What's your limit? Uh, all right, so look, I ain't got a limit. But when it comes to uh, shorty like who like um like real hard aggression, you know what I'm talking about? Or she want me to spit in her mouth or something? All right, that's when it's like I, I can't. I'm not that. I'm not that. You don't like the. Oh. Yo, yo, yo. You got the box for a reason. You right. The whole time, I'm going to hold that. <laughs> yeah, shit. you feel so me? So you're not really into like super like aggressive where it becomes like abusive almost. Yeah, that's yeah, not your, yeah, you're I not like into the, that shit. I don't shit. like the abusive sex. I'm not trying to abuse the body. Yeah. you like, oh, I want to love it. That's yeah. crazy. He like, you like that. I mean, it's whatever the woman ple- pleasures herself to come to. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That climax for that woman. And I've seen, like, regularly now, I've seen, starting to see a lot of women uh, come outside of their comfort zone and 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 take that extra dark side of, you know, being choked. That they choked didn't think they would have pushed before? Yeah, being choked and, you know, tied up, slapped up. Not too much, choked but, cool. you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Well, I, this I one girl a, we, we met, uh, she was saying she would go home black and blue like that. Yeah, I've, I've, black I've, and blue. yeah. Look, listen, I've had, I've had, I've had clients do, like that. I can't that. do it either. I've I don't had, like being I've, that. I've had, I have women clients like that that will go home bruised the fuck up, and they like that shit. And he was with it. What up, what up, what up? Yeah, teachers on. Everybody got their own little you dig for real. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I know that'd make my dick go flat. If you Uh like, I'm I'm gonna feel like I'm already, I'm already, I'm like 6'5, you feel me? So if I, he already, already, I'm a big big dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm in my head, I'm like, yo, I'm not a fucking woman, baby. You feel me? This this is not sex. This is abuse. Facts. Get me out of here. Yeah, I feel both sides of it because I get like, like he said, getting into that dark side where you like, man, like, you just didn't and, know and, and nine times out of ten, it's not even far. us. It's them that's pushing it, like nah, Like we'll be just fucking. It can and, get dark. All, all, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all you hear her come I, out. No, I understand what you say. Yeah. I feel bad. You right in the sun too. It's all good. My good. Yeah, yeah, they look yeah, fly. Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, getting yeah, that good brown yeah. brow right there. Sparkle, looking like brown sugar and shit. Don't make me blush. Oh, they looking like brown sugar in the eyes. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! He was trying to sit there earlier because he was like, "Oh nah, nah." He's yeah, like, look, "Hold on, everything's blinging right now." No, you know, you know, you got it, you got it, you got it. The ice looking flossy to too over there. See you. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay. The jewelry you know is fooling, boy. Go ahead, watch. Yeah, see yeah, why. yeah. The jewel, ju- ju- jewelry is foolery. You know what I'm saying? My mama, go sometimes, ahead. Sometimes, sometimes, you know, you gotta, you gotta just, you know, fake it till you make it. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, we don't, we don't got the machine today. Really you good? good. Nigga, that's good. Really good. Good. We wasn't gonna bring, we wasn't gonna bring the diamond checker out. It's not for us. You feel me? We was definitely um, not about to bust it out on y'all today. Uh, you know, oh, we was going to bring a, a little BB. Uh, oh, oh, the diamond says, you go ahead, baby. I'm all ready. I'm all ready. I'm just making sure. She said, we normally got that. No, we don't got it. I'm just talking with you. Yeah. But I would. I would definitely do it. I want to get Hey, you know what? Sometimes one day, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait till somebody does that. You know, I'm waiting for somebody. You wait for him? Yeah, just to be cool. You know what I mean? And you ever feel like, too, let me ask you, just because. 
Like, I feel like it's become more popular, but I like I noticed that, you know, you take care of your toes, your feet and stuff, but you did do the, the Oh, nail shout out to my thing, little right? piggies who's deserving to look at nice this right <laughs> now. <laughs> I know. Nice I know. little piggies. Y'all, 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 y'all getting a little bit of too much freedom of this, but I'm on. <laughs> y'all, right y'all know what is going on. Um, but do you yeah. feel like anybody ever presses your uh, your masculinity because of the way like some like with the nail paint and stuff like that? Oh uh, no, nah, I'm an emo. I've been doing this shit since fucking middle school. So you man. don't. It's like this is normal to me. By. I just started doing like the little designs and things like that. But I'm. A straight... I feel like it's just like becoming more trendy and like some people are like it's, really it's pressing a, against it's, it. It's a trend. I feel like it's because it's a trend why people don't really know the background story. The, 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 you know what I'm saying? A lot of people just you know get their nails painted because it's a fashion way or it's a sense for me. It's a sign of a symbol towards a lifestyle I was going through yeah. growing up. You know what I'm saying? I'm just now getting into the How whole color. I'm 29. 29? Okay, so you just got at the end of that. I'm very honest like, about my age. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm 36. I don't know, so I tell yeah. everybody. But, like, yeah. I remember just emo was, like, a really big thing when I was in high school you ain't for a no while. damn 36. I am 36, baby. Girl, you I'm proud. I just turned hell. 36, You looking too, good okay? than a motherfucker. Thank you. Look at that. Oh, okay, wow. 36 yeah. years old, God damn it. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Well, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 28. Oh, so y'all are on the same age. Okay, yeah. that's what's up. Well, shit, let, let, they, let these people know where they can see and follow you one more time just so they know. I appreciate y'all coming on. You go first. We're going to get a couple more oh, interviews shit. in before we lose this light. Y'all know the branding. Y'all know the name. You know what I'm saying? Burgundy. You know, K Berg 305. That's K B U R G 305. Find me on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? Google me. Do whatever you need to. Uh, yeah. And I That's love it? this. And I love this world, man. I love this world. <laughs> shout you. out we to my little. Shit. Shout out to my little pigs. My okay, little, now I'm gonna put them I call mine now. the pudgies. Huh? Mine are the pudgies. <laughs> Look at them because they're so fat. Right, right. See, they're pudgy as hell. I, I love them. Get mine's redone he though. Cute feet though. They cool. The little. I, I, I like they match me though. Like I feel like if you looked at my body, I should have feet like this. Like that's. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I want to look good with long. They gotta, they gotta worship the ground you walk on. Good. And what we do, fucking great. Successful what we do, and I feel like people should worship. I've been looking at your ass all day. I ain't even going. Can I say that? Oh yeah, AKA pay for porn too. You know what I'm saying? That's the slogan for the rest of our lives. Pay for porn. Pay for motherfucking porn. You know what I'm saying? That's all we do. This guy pay for it. Oh shit! Oh, we got the man. We got the oh. man in the building right now. Y'all, Mr. Like, Rome. Mr. Rome. What it do? You gonna hop in on yeah. it? Huh? You hopping in on it? Come on! Come yeah. on! You might as well just yeah. say yeah. hello. You might, you might as well, as well, well keep up. it going. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> here. Yes, <sir. laughs> Let me see. Oh, you got room over there? You oh, got shit. a camera angle? Here, look. Yo, we I'm just gonna have to come butt. over here. We oh, want to oh, 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 please. Come yes. on, your dick is falling out. His dick is falling out. His dick is falling out. With the mouse in the house is a family production. It's a family yes, event, I, I, sir. I got, I, got good, I got good dibs. Don't worry. We good? Yes. Now he Bring got the in. best seat in the house. Ain't that much? Yes, you do. You, you got the sun. Oh, man, you know what I mean? Man. This, okay, this right, is close enough. Right. We're going to get. Oh, I, we <laughs> 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 we got, we got Roman the house now. What's know. good? Yeah. Tell everybody who good, you brother? are and, and introduce yourself a little bit. What's going on, y'all? You know what it is. It's major in the building. Is I'm a dope porn star. Let's go. You had you was you had that uh the back bedroom locked down for a while over there. Yeah, yeah, man, I was putting some work in. Man. I, I heard. Major you know work. Saying? Heard a lot of uh, heard a lot of the work from outside. Yes, sir. You, hey, listen, 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 listen. Now, I've been doing this about ten years, ten plus years. I've mm -hmm. been doing this for a while. Started out in the East Coast, worked myself out to the West Coast. Started from from Vegas, then went to L.A. Got my own website, got different platforms. You know what I mean, I'm, I'm basically killing the game right now. You know what I mean? So right now we're showing all the new talents that's getting in the business how the game works. That's yeah. dope. That's yeah, cool man. that you like, you know, passing it down. Some people yeah. don't like that shit. Like, nah. that, but th that's why I fuck nah. with the girls got wireless. Like, they're about networking, doing all this shit. Yeah. Sometimes you go places, it's like the, the the bitches that got the names and the dudes that got the names that act like they don't want to talk to nobody and yeah. they don't want to pass it down. It's like, well, we're just going to show blessings to them. And that's it. Yeah. Well, to me, I just feel like I'm so big on passing it down because it's going to make me last longer, too. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, like, right. if you, you, everyone's got an expiration date. So yes. if, you, if you're not, like, yes. passing it down, then yep. your expiration date is going to come sooner. That's so I'm just real. about keeping my money moving as long, long as I can. Yep. You got to. And so just yeah. showing, the, showing, the, showing the general wealth, man. This is a lifestyle that we need a lot of folks in. Yeah. So. Yeah. And as long as y'all keep paying for it, we gonna keep doing it. I told I you, pay for porn. Swear to God, it's, yeah, it's definitely true. It's definitely yeah. true. It's just like you know, a lot of male. I don't know what it is. A lot of male performers, you know, when they get a little higher, they supposed to pass that knowledge down yeah, to the next. That's the torch. They don't. A lot of a lot of male, a lot of the male performers I know about, yeah. they don't pass that torch. Well, we they do. don't teach them the game. They don't sad. show what time it is. And it's like it's no point. Like. You got to pass it down. That's the whole point. When you see somebody else, I had like favors that when I was growing up. I like uh, Rock the Icon. I like Prince Joshua. I like Justin Slayer. 
You know I mean Shane yeah, Diesel? Was, yeah. You know yeah. I mean those are the kings. They're the, they're the boys that was growing up where I was like, yo, I can't wait. Yeah. And guess what? You know when I met Rock the Icon, he gave me that shine. He showed me that love. You know, gave me the name who I am today. Yeah. Yeah. So now I you did big it. dog. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Hey, shout out. We just want to shout out Girls Gone Wireless too, man, for bringing everyone yeah, together. Girls Gone Wireless. Major, major love. Dope. Vegas major, style. We popping it Yeah. Out. Major love. Kendra. Yeah, they work. put in a lot of work. Stay ready in them. Hey, oh, look. God. We already did like this, like the third convention right now. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Third event. Been here since day one with this, man. Hell yeah. It's been rocking yeah. out. Yeah. I it's feel like it just, it just keeps getting better every time. Like, it's going to. Like, I was telling them earlier, I feel like a little proud mama bear. So I'm like, Hey man, this is we just growing and we all doing it together, and I think it's so fire. So I mean, the street daddy, you are the mommy bear, right? I now. am mama bear. <laughs> you know I'm mama rabbit in this bitch. Hey, listen, what, what's up? I'm y'all? quiet. I'm, I like I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the go. I'm girl. just going <laughs> ding. Let's go. All right, guys. Come I on. Got the red, I got the red guy. Let's rip that off. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that no working. No means no, bro. y'all. No means no. No means no. We no got some extra green ones back there. I know. Yeah. But thank y'all, I appreciate it. So you guys make sure you um, check out Girls Gone Wireless. And we got, wait, tell me Instagram one more time. Oh, Melanie, this guy here. Sorry, yeah. you know Melanie's my dog. I always got to shoot with her. You can check me uh, on my Twitter. Uh, uh, Real Major Triple X. You can check me on my Instagram, Real Real Major. You can check me on my website, realmajor.com. That's what's up. Thank you. Appreciate you stopping by the rabbit hole. Yeah, you already know what it is. Thank y'all. Shout out man. to the rabbit hole, man. 2022, <laughs> Girls Gone Wireless. Hole, man. I mean, don't get your boy. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Where's the rabbit hole? I'm a front hole. This. God front. damn. Just oh, make sure the back is shit. The goal is to find it, okay? I will find it. I will find it. <laughs> Definitely Can't find it. Can't tell you where You got at. three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So we were here with my boy Stoney and Crazy over here. We got our cannabis boys. So you a chef, right? Yup. And you make all these cannabis stuff for yep, everybody. I make lollipops. What did you bring us today? So I got these for you right here. These oh, two. Okay. Got some cereal bars for you. I got this uh, Fruity Pebbles and Oreo Crispy Treats. Okay. You make these yourself? Yes. I make all of these myself. Um... Everything you see me or everything you see made by Stony Vibes are made by made with these hands right here. Okay. So, um, yeah, independent business, just you know what I'm saying. Been doing this for a while and trying to get the world high. Yeah, that's you know dope. I love it. So you guys, so you guys, you help with the event coordinating, correct? Yes. Okay. So then, when you guys are doing like like you doing barbecues and all that, like you guys yes. really doing the crazy stuff. Yes. So, um, we do uh, infuse parties. So pretty much how it works is. I'll like set it up to where once you once you get your wristband to come in, it's all you can eat. Infuse oh, yeah, infuse chicken wings or infuse tacos. I usually do the chicken wings parties. That's the one people uh, go crazy about. You ever heard of like uh, Hot Ones? Yeah. The, the series. So I had a party, a spinoff off of that called High Ones. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, and we oh, had we gonna have to collab. Then. Yeah, where we had people come in and they had like all the sauces and shit. But they were all infused. Yeah, they were all infused and they were all hot as shit. That, uh, so we did we did a, a kind of a almost a similar episode but we did it's called hottie ones so yeah. we was just like doing the same thing asking each other questions but eating hotter food as we went but we were just like half naked so, oh yeah you know that's what I mean? so i was like well, we could do like half that's naked the element, that's see look that's the element that we were missing right yeah, there see, we could do that so, yeah, we could we go could down that rabbit yeah, hole for yeah, sure for sure for sure i'm with that we so definitely gotta you, lock that in how'd y'all link up so, so they combined your forces like las vegas La, just vegas <laughs> okay i'm trying to put my head for like three years coordinator in crazy c yeah um out in jersey I'm he's an east coast nigga i'm an east coast nigga so you got us bringing it to the west came out to vegas met this nigga like a month ago so oh it was that fast facts he told me his plan told him my plan yep and now we here yep. now you guys are just doing it and yeah so we we here to take over vegas i love it Shit. The, world. You know you know the fucking stony world. vibes and crazy c <laughs> man you hey you heard I it love. first we out here. How'd y'all link up with Girls Gone Wireless then? Okay, so. I saw him right here. <laughs> oh, that's him, huh? Okay. So I've been uh, tapped in with, with uh, Stay Ready Unk for a good, like, few months now. Just, like, back and forth on the Instagram. Like, I'll uh, support some shit he got going on on IG. And then surprisingly, he'll, like, notice it. Yeah. And like it and nah, shit like pay, that. He pays attention to everything. Yeah, yeah. so and not, yeah, it's, I, I love to support anybody that's, like, doing shit around, like, my, around my motivation lane. 
I, yeah. I guess I could say. So I don't have to know you like that. I'll just be pushing your shit just because I'm like I want to see it grow. Too. I, yeah, I thought that too. Like I, I mean, even if I did like one thing with somebody, a little shout out or something, I'm like everything they do, I'm like repost, repost. Yeah. I feel like that's what makes one is what makes real fans, right? Mm -hmm. Because if right. they know that we all fucking with the same shit, yep. your your fans will just start. It's a bigger brand. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's not right. like then they feel like they part of that family. You know what I mean? Oh, I got this from them, and I know they plugged in together. If people don't from doing sales in the past, mm -hmm. like that's the one thing is like the biggest sales tactic is getting them to trust you. So if you can get them to trust everybody in your network, then you win in as far as money and branding and, and collabing and shit. So right. I'm I'm with all that. Like fuck it. I don't give a fuck how many followers I got. Like if I fuck with you, I'm, I'm and that's, your shit. And that's why and that's why I appreciate uh Unk for because yeah. he saw he he peeped that and um just showed love. Yeah, he showed yeah. love off of that. So when I seen them throwing the the girls gone wireless out here, I was still in Dallas. And um I was reaching out to him like, yo, let me do the infused foods for that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And um off top he just showed me love and it was just like, yo, um, I got someone doing this one, but I might can have you do the next one. So I was just like, All right, damn, at least he hit me back and told me yeah. something. Right. But then later yeah. on, actually, um, I seen someone so he posted uh one of the girls I was gonna be there. I'm like, I know her. Oh, that's yeah, dope. Yeah, and that was dope. So then once I once so I then said it was that, like, okay, you family yeah. now. Okay. <laughs> See how that works. Yeah, so yeah. then he was just like, yo, you got action. Let's let's go. Let's get in here with the wings. I was just yeah. like, all right, cool, let's that's do it. That's fire. Oh, y'all, so you guys brought wings today? No, we didn't do it today. No wings today. Oh, because y'all coming to the next one. Yeah. The he said, don't go to make sure I come He back. said, yeah, he said, yes, for sure. That's what that's, it is. That's exactly they gonna say. They said, we know Riley used to wing horror. So we gonna have to definitely get Now we know. What's your favorite flavor? Uh, I know, like I like a, like a Carolina barbecue kind of taste, mm -hmm. like that golden, like kind of mustard barbecue. Oh, I, ash I don't want to be disrespectful. You know, that's, a, that's a good. Here we go. Okay, thank you. Um, so that's that's one of my like as far as that, but I'm definitely one of those Hold on, like. I didn't, I didn't hear what you said. So it's like it's like a like a Carolina gold kind of barbecue. It's kind of more like must. It's like more of a mustard based kind of barbecue. Okay. I'm like not big mustard? on soup. Nah, I'm not really big on like super like sweet barbecues. I like the tangy kind of barbecue yeah, stuff. Like that's just fire to me. Got yeah, that zang to it. Yeah, that little zang yeah, kind of shit. Like yeah, that's yeah. that. That's more my style. But I, I mean, all day I'm gonna be a, like a like a lemon pepper or hot lemon pepper mixed with the bar with the barbecue garlic or the buffalo palm, sauce. The so now I know what to bring tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah all right. like, all right. Give me that all right. garlic bomb's cool, but. <laughs> It's a hit or miss, because some people will really fuck that up. I, I agree with that. That's some people will really fuck that up. And then, then up. some people make them wet, some people make them dry. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to yeah. be real careful with yeah, the garlic parm. Yeah, I sure. feel like, and so, or they'll be greasy as fuck yep. sometimes. Oh, I don't yeah. like that. It's like, man, you put way too much butter on here. It's garlic parm, but I, uh, man, yeah, look. Yeah, it's too, yeah, they'll be fucking them up. But I, you know what? I, I like in general, like I do like a dry rub wing. Me too. That shit hits different. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, oh, my yeah. dad used to just really grill like dry rub stuff a lot. Mm -hmm. So that's like more my. Bone in or boneless though? I'm bone. Bone in flats all bone. day. I don't care if it's flat anymore. I don't that's care like, if it's flat or drum. I used to be, I used to be a drumstick girl all day. But once I figured out the little TikTok shit have y'all seen it how to crack the wing with the TikTok? so you uh -uh. Nice. oh it's dope like once i figured that out i didn't care they showed you a secret on how to yeah like so if you like just like bite the tip off of the edge of a flat right because uh -huh. you got the two bones yeah you could literally just twist it and pull one bone out Oh, man, I'm a savage. Win. I'm not gonna lie. I be like finessing it anyways to where one bone ends up popping out and it's all me. Yeah, but it's I so just, easy. Rah. You're just like boom, boom, gone. Yeah. Hey. Because you can just like hit that. And you oh know, God, like, yup. And I be eating. I the, trying to and I eat struggle. The I'm eating the cartilage. <laughs> me? Oh, I'm a marrow girl. I'm bone marrow yeah, cartilage. And, yeah, I'm African. Straight, straight meat. So I grew bone. up eating the bone marrow. We bite into the. But my mom told me, don't do that when other people are around. She like only do that at home. I don't know. Like maybe she feels like that's not proper. Like it's not etiquette. Mm. But I eat the bone. But like I, when I'm out in public, I don't do it. Just because when I was a kid, my mom told me that she's People are so like, "Yo, you are gonna suck every piece off of that bone." I, yes, I am. For sure. <laughs> yes, I am. For she sure. Be telling you that? Yeah, they're like, damn. They, they, they got their camera out too. Huh? They're like, like bro, you, you really gonna get that? that like, out. yeah, I'm getting the gristle. All, <laughs> all of that. I love it. I told you, my dad used to really grill. So like, it, like. My family's from Tennessee and from Detroit. Tennessee so, country like, girl. Yeah, so I grew up in Cali, but they, you know, they just knew how to do that shit. So it was always fire. Oh shit! But I appreciate y'all coming over here. Tell like appreciate where, the time. where y'all, um, anything coming up? Like any events? I mean, event coordinator. I know y'all just got together, oh, but do you have any right plans? Now, like, what's, still, what what we look forward to? I'm still fresh out here. Like I said, I want to be out. Um, 
I, I only been out here a month, so I'm still working on uh, certain connections, yeah. like rubbing my shoulder with the right people, getting in the right networks. And yeah. Once I find the right place, then I'm definitely gonna do something. Well, this Me, is gonna help definitely for sure. gonna do something. For Me and him are aiming to throw something in July. Like one of those uh, all you can eat infused parties I was okay. telling you about. Stay tuned. We're aiming to do that out here in Vegas for the first time in July. Okay. So just don't do July seventeenth because that's my brother's wedding and I want to come. Your brother's Say wedding? That. Yeah. Say that. No seventeenth. Okay. So if we invite <laughs> you to this, you're inviting us to the wedding or what? I mean, if y'all want to go all the way to hell to Pine Top, Arizona, <laughs> oh, damn. yeah, not, I mean, we, it's destination out here. They wanted, okay. so my, my background is, is Viking. So my brother really wanted to have like a Viking style wedding. So they all grew their beards out and they're getting like, it's, That's uh, interesting. yeah, That's it was kind of, they got like the wood frame, like all the old wood stuff. It's, I don't know, they just wanted to really dive into their heritage, but it's kind of funny because we were always raised Irish because we didn't know like that side of the family. So like when they found out, they're like, "Oh, let's embrace it a little bit." So, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, that's, yeah, really that's different. Yeah. yeah, so they're like, it's. I mean, it's not like hardcore, like ah, you know. But they definitely like are putting the influence. So they wanted to be up in the mountains somewhere, like in that, that woods setting. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's dope. Um, I know the mouth is going to be crazy. Before I lose my train of thought, uh, yeah. So July, we're planning on throwing some out here. Um, we're deciding whether it's going to be wings or tacos. All we really got to do is just figure out where we're going to throw it. And once we figure that out, we'll we'll send you the invite. I need the invite. For sure. Because sure I'm about, down for either one, tacos and wings. Make sure you tell things. all your friends. Shit, if you want to bring your brother from Pine Top, Arizona, <laughs> he can come too if you want to get high. Y'all, everybody in that bitch is going to be. Yeah, no, I'm my telling you, every it. time we throw these parties, People literally text me the next day, like, yo, I missed work. Yo, I'm still high. Yeah. It never fails. Like, right. Y'all definitely got to link that. with, uh, y'all got to link with a couple, I got a few friends that do podcasts too. Y'all got to link with uh, Faded Truth since that's what she does. Like, her whole show is about getting, get high, get lit, and talking on, they do interviews. She does Shout out like to that. Faded Truth. Yeah, Coming Andy, that's my Faded dog. Truth. Faded Truth. And they, they got yeah. Toxic Hour too. They're really dope. They're, like, they're, they're in that Toxic Hour. It's toxic another hour. podcast out here. They're, but they're all like Shout industry you dudes, too. you know what I mean? Like they're all in the like the nightlife scene and shit. But they're sponsored by Hardeen, so they're really plugged into the cannabis company and shit. So Thanks. those are like good hands to shake, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm gonna They'll tell be, you right now, anything that we throw, you I don't ask me shake before. hands. I give hugs. You ask, okay, you ask me before, why is it crazy? Anything oh, yeah. that we throw, anything that we throw, you guarantee gonna leave like, yo, that shit was crazy. So is it, that's what it is. You just, just you know how to really throw that. I come off calm, but I make sure my events is just Bro, hey, top of the line. You know what I'm saying? This is confidential like, information I'm throwing out there. Bro told me every time he throw a party, Everybody you getting some, some cheeks, I promise you. You getting some <laughs> cheeks, bro. That's what's gonna make it crazy. Everybody Shorty, fucking. Everybody fucking. Yeah, bro. It's just it's just <laughs> something that's no. I did my first party. It was a house party. So, like. 1500 kids out there. Yeah, Dang, right. that's a lot of kids. Yeah, it's a lot of kids. You know where to go. Shit. Yeah, I'm telling you. How long you been doing parties like that? Like six, seven years. And it just kind of just fell in my lap. And what did you just kind of do? Like getting like Airbnbs and throwing little private parties and at shit? First, just... At first, I was doing that at my house and I rented out Airbnbs and I did small halls. Then oh, I did okay, concerts. So you, yeah. I did my first show. My first concert was April 24th with Coy LeRae during the pandemic. Talk your shit. What? I was three, just about week, to say. three weeks of promotion. Talk your shit. Fifty percent capacity. I sold that shit out in three weeks. Shout out to my girl Coy LeRae. Giving that's that dope. Shout okay. That shit was fire. Bro. I like that man. Shout out Coy LeRae, up. man. That shit was fire. She doing. She's she's, 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 she's hot right now. She's doing her shit. She's been hot. Yeah, she's the doing the shit. The world, the world just figured out who she was. Yeah, and she's she, from Jersey. She's from my home state. And she, uh, she just, she was just went viral on that little uh video where she did the little strip tease and yeah, shit on the dude yeah, on, the, on the stage. Yeah, she she was all like, oh man, shake that little yeah. baby butt. That's, that's Jersey for you, you know. That's Jersey for Get you. Get it, girl. Yeah, so, I loved it. But yeah, all my events they turn out. People turn out. And we get turned up, and it's. But just, that's why you crazy. It's just a vibe, crazy. See, it's just. It's just the way I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go above and beyond for the people, you know what I'm saying? I so, love it. Yeah. Shit, I can't wait to see it's one of these wild. parties. I'm bringing my people. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I might got to do, like, a test one to see, yes, you man. know, if it's really what y'all say it is. Sure. Sure. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Because sure. people like to talk a lot. Oh, yeah. We nah, go. Nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> Maybe your you idea of crazy nah. isn't my idea of crazy. You know what I uh, mean? What's your idea of crazy? That's a fact. I'm a, listen. We gonna let you guys see. We are gonna let you do what you do, and I'm gonna just see how it go. Right. Okay. Say no more. We here. Right. You know what I mean? I like that. She said, "I'll show you rather than tell." You. <laughs> I like we that. We gonna see what it do. Well, I'm shit, I appreciate it. So let people know where they can follow y'all one more time. All right. So my Instagram is Stony Vibes Menu. My Twitter is Stony Vibes Co. My TikTok is Stony Vibes or Die. 
All of those are one word. Make sure you follow me if you love infused foods, if you love to get high, if you love to have a good time. Is that the is that the easiest way for them to contact you? Like if they wanted to book you for an event, like because will you get booked? Like if somebody wants to have you come to something like this, right? Like yeah, you do that? yeah. For What's sure. the best way for them to contact you? To get Instagram's that? the best way to contact me in terms of uh, ordering me for catering or ordering any of my edibles. Instagram for sure. Yeah, and, and then sh- any big and event stuff you want to reach out to crazy. Right? If you want to, if you want to hire me to have a lit event, all you gotta do is uh, hit me up, DM me on crazyc.ent. I always respond. Um, yeah, let's just get it. That's, that's on that's Instagram, right? That's it's your Instagram? on Instagram. Yeah. Crazy so if y'all want to throw an event, collab, whatever you want to do, just that's hit these it, dudes it. up. Yeah. I appreciate y'all stopping by, man. I want to just try some of these. Oh, for yeah, sure. And I do yeah. shipping too. So it's anywhere, anywhere that y'all need it. Got shipping on. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So make sure that y'all holler at me, man. I got all your edible needs. I love it. We are gonna see how good they are right now. Oh, for sure. I want you to tell. I want you to tell the world about it. You know what I'm saying? For sure. I'm not saying like, oh, you gotta do it right now, but I'm saying I want you no, to tell I just the want world. Them to see the label, hey, that's a fact. That's a fact. Show them a, yeah, yeah. a little something. Show them a little something. Stuff. Yep. <laughs> All right, child. Well, give me a hug, man. We gonna get up out of here. Right. Facts. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. I finally made it, man. Mama, mama, TV. Mama, mama, TV. I know you didn't expect me to be doing this. We gonna talk to Mama today. We can talk. Your male talent, correct? Just want to make sure everything. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just checking with everybody today. I don't know if he was a fan or. No, definitely talent. <laughs> I also gotta... a fan. Like, listen, just because, just because your talent doesn't mean you're not a. That's fan. true. That's so. true. Okay, guys. So we are here with another male talent today. Tell everybody who you are. Uh, how y'all doing, everybody? My name is Savvy G. Savvy G, how Savvy you doing? G, I'm doing good. Right. I see that you got some cute little nipple pasties on today. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we are uh, stony vibing in the building. Yeah, we got to keep it strong in here. You know, I'm doing a little free, free advertisement. <laughs> There's no better advertisement than nipples. Anything, I can, I can, if I can support the green, I'm on the team. You That's know? what's up. There you go. So stony vibes. Y'all go ahead and look that up. Stony vibes menu on Instagram. There you go. Free that, promo. Was a, that was a nice plug, bro. That you was know? some solid brethren never, stuff. Never forget from where you came from. I love promote that every, shit. Promote everything you love. So tell, how long have you been doing male talent stuff? Um... I just started in February of last year, actually. So I'm still, I consider myself to still be new because, you know. Yeah. I've been surrounded by some greats. There have been some greats here today. Yeah. For sure. Like, so what got you into it? Because was it, was it the, so, was it coronavirus? Or was so it? <laughs> uh, I guess that's kind of where it's, so I. Tell so, us the story. So, yeah. Tell us so, the story. So Savannah Starr is here. That's my uh, fiance in real life. Okay. So I met her through a mutual friend when I was living in Jacksonville and then uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. I forget we're on the West Coast. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, we went out to eat or whatever and we connected there. And she introduced me to the uh, swinger life. Where I really started was the swingers. The swinger swinger life? You and her were yeah. swinging? We were swinging together. And then, uh, you know, she. Uh, She's been producing for like three years now, but then she decided to go in front of the camera, and I was learning the camera process through her. Okay, so helping you're helping her with the like, creative side, the production side. Yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, I got a little bit of that under my belt before I came in front of the camera, which is really fun, by the way. It's hard to decide between the two, like being in front of the camera or like... Being behind it. Or, yeah, like producing some, some stuff, so. But uh, she took me to a content event one day, she was like, I'm going to get you tested because when you see how they do it, you're going to want to do some shit. Yeah. And uh, and that's what happened. Like, I was there and I wanted so to do So she turned some- you out. Yeah, and the rest is history. I've been... Uh- I've been on this train ever since. Yeah, I think it's dope. There's been a lot of, like, couples here today. Like, like, like industry power couples that are just like, yo, we fuck with it, we rock with it, and everyone's just like... Yeah. It's such a vibe. How was it? I mean, has that your, that's always been your first experience in this, like, a swinger lifestyle. Like, Yeah, yeah. Right? So, like, I mean... Going full time, like, like outside the swinger stuff, like doing content, like this, having the swinger side helps because you know you're already used to like asking people for performing, consent, performing, like being yeah. around an audience when you're when you're uh, yeah. being active and stuff like that. So, do you guys still swing or do you guys just do content now? Because I know sometimes it's when you when you get money, it's kind of hard to do stuff when you're not getting money. Um, so. We still we swing from time to time. We uh we try to focus as much as possible on making sure that the revenues keep coming. For sure. Know? So, but uh, 
you gotta find time you gotta find time to have fun yeah absolutely so and that's what we do for fun so the weird thing about it is like it's like you know most of the world is vanilla yes so going out and trying to do vanilla things is a lot more awkward these days it is yeah because You're like, what do I, I don't know these people this is the kind of stuff that like i do like when i go out of town and stuff and i'm like how do i go sit in crowds yeah even like if you go to a restaurant with a group of us like how do we sit in the crowd and have a big conversation about? Because everything we talk about is so sexually like, yeah. oh, did you guys shoot with da da da? Oh, did you get yeah. that gang bang like, the how, other day? How like, was that scene with what's her name and like, yeah. did she do this when y'all know that? That's like, what, but that's what's nice about having a community of people like yeah. that. Like, cause you can still do that and feel comfortable yeah, so, whether yeah. But when you get around the swingers, you know they used to. Yeah. Everybody talking about sex. Swingers, um, swingers love me for some reason. I don't know. I think they think I'm a unicorn or something, but I'm I'm not. But like we we were in a where were we at Cabo? We were in Cabo, and it must there was like two or three couples that tried to get me that day. But there was one that just, and I'm like, eh, it's not my thing. But thank you. I am too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they come for that me hard. Sense. Um. I think it's because I'm curvier. It's the curves. I was yeah. Gonna so say I it's think a curves. lot of women feel comfortable with me being with respectfully. them. Respectfully. Thank you. Yes. Respectfully. It's definitely the curves. But they do. It's like if there is if there's a swinger couple. Within within a building, they're gonna find me and yeah. try and drive for me. <laughs> for it's sure. a vibe. It's it's a. So I'll say this, like, because of the way that, like, you've been here for a while today. So, like, I don't know. You just click with people, and that's yeah. uh, that's big in the swinging community. Is like because communication is so important. Communication and consent. So you got to oh, yeah. know how to talk to people Absolutely. and like. So Everybody super that come, big yeah, like yeah. the more I, the more you did, it was like every time in between there was like five or six people out here just like trying to figure out what's next. I'm like, yeah, you just you vibe with people. Thank you, I appreciate That's that. That's what it is for real. Like that might be what it is. If I had to give my opinion, oh, I could it's see the that. People vibe, just kind of the social. Yeah, like, like I'm, I am, I'm a very like social, yeah. outgoing person. Yeah. yeah, but thank you. I like that you swingers, noticed. Swingers like that stuff. That friendly shit. Yeah, that friendly shit. That my ex hated it. He's like, you a friendly bitch. <laughs> He's not. He's not a swinger. No, he was not. He was obviously. A so. <laughs> oh. He was not. That he was sense. you a friendly bitch. Yeah. Shut up. And I'm like, hi everybody. Like I don't know. I just I was like people. Closed minded. Yeah. He's closed minded. Very much. I'm. I like. I'm definitely glad that I switched from like that lifestyle to this. Lifestyle. Yeah. This is. Yeah. Listen. It's a lot easier. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be this good. You didn't realize how free you feel, huh? That's it. That's ex You know what? It's crazy. That choice of words, that's exactly it. It's, it's the freedom. Yeah. Because I like coming from that community and being super extroverted. I'm friendly. Like, I'm friendly. Yeah. I like to talk to people, all this type of stuff. Like, but there's always that extra, like... You got to be careful in certain situations. And this... I never had a situation where I had to cut my personality off or mm -hmm. tone it down for the crowd or nothing like that. Yeah, so everyone's just really accepting. It's literally freedom. Like, can be myself 100% of the time, like, but still be respectful at the same time. Like, yeah, I, there's still boundaries and respect and stuff yeah, like that. It doesn't take away from me being respectful if I'm being myself. Like, I feel like, and, and you know the difference between like an alcoholic and a pie head? Yeah, because I'm pies are like Pies are like more chill. Like, I yeah. feel like this, maybe they don't all smoke, but I'm saying I just feel like more like that chill pothead vibes when we doing yeah. stuff like this versus like other places I feel like it's like a raging everyone's yeah. like turned when up people... and angry and jealous and like I'm so, like that's like the the square world for me square world is like alcoholism yeah. so like, I really compare this to like a a swinger party where everybody's tested yeah you just don't have to worry about the yeah you just wearing the, it's keeping the yourself protected it. because everybody's already doing that and nobody cares how weird you are like like or what is considered weird in normal world like to us it's like oh cool you're into right. that right hey more, I'm not right. but more power to you nobody uh, just, the girl with the split tongue and the horns and the el and yeah. the elf ears and she got like a anchor in her fucking yeah that shit's crazy but in any other environment those people would not talk to these people yeah not but even, here it's like not nobody a gives a bit. fuck yeah yeah man i've been i fuck with it though i appreciate it. and i saw you i was try, i kept trying to get over to you but then yeah. i felt like every time i tried to like get to talk to you the first second it was like somebody would listen, come in it's okay I was like, dang i really saw you sat down i was like i kind of want to squeeze them in there listen quick. it really is like i don't even know how amazing it is for real. it's really a lot of star power in here like as far as what we do like it's a lot of it's a lot of what I years. would consider to be celebrities in here. Yeah. So, like, I can understand why you're show busy because 
I didn't even know. This is how young I am in this, in this for real. Like, you also, they all know you. Like, these, they know well, you. Well, a lot of them have been my friends for a while, and we supported yeah. each other through so, it. You know what I mean? Like, they, yeah, it's dope. It's dope. That I love crazy. it. I love, like, how the connections seem more real. Yeah. You know? We was all last. hoes together at one point. Yeah. So, like, now that we all, like, vets and, like, got businesses and shit going on, like, we just kind of grew up in the game together. <laughs> So it's fire. Business is going on. I love it. Yeah, that. I love when you just take street hustle yeah. and make it grow. See, we can grow over here too, people. Yeah, I love it. Looking right it's at dope. the camera when I say that. We can grow over here too. <laughs> and they do grow weed people over helping here people. Tony's. Don't forget about Stony Vibes. <laughs> Savage G said it first. That's dope. Well, tell, tell people um, where they can find you. Do you only fans and stuff like that? Uh, only fans. Savage G Triple X. Twitter, Savage G Triple X. Instagram, Savage G 912. Um, I got my own website, SavageGXXX.com. Look it up. They got all the links on there? All the links is on there. That's what's up. Yeah. Before on we my go Twitter, I got all my links. I probably forgot a couple links, you know. Got a couple other programs. They got to be on your on your, yeah. on your your page, though, right? You go yeah. there, they probably got all the hyperlinks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got go, it all. On SavageGXXX.com. That's where you want to start. It'll lead you to everything else. It gets you everywhere. Tell people, everywhere. before we go, just tell people what's the, what the craziest scene or, like, just give them one of those hater stories that you're like, man, this one time. Um... So I shot a scene in the kitchen right after the food had got cooked. And I got into an argument with, well, this was the scenario. The scenario was I got into an argument with uh, with who I was shooting with. And then we went to... This is the, 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 the storyline for the porn? Yeah, it was a storyline. Okay. Yeah, we made it up. And just like in a few minutes, I was like, I really, I, re I like having sex in crazy places. Like in a general, like when I was... Practicing monogamy because I'm a whole like I'm a whore. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm, a I'm whore. not a swinger. I'm not polygamous. I'm a whore. <laughs> I like to have sex. It's one of the main reasons I'm here. Let's go ahead and clear it. At up. least you with somebody who gets that. Right, and she understands. Like she knows. She's like he might be out being a hoe somewhere. It's facts. It's authorized. It's authorized. Love it over here. It's not cheating if they yeah, let you do it. It's not cheating if they let you do it at all. Also, she's allowed to do the same thing because she's also, anyways. And she's dope. Yeah, she's fucking amazing. Yeah. Uh, she's amazing. But, uh, yeah, so there was like, it was right after breakfast. Like, okay. really in real time, it was right after breakfast. So there was like cold pancakes and <laughs> cold uh, pancakes. coffee coffee creamer was out and old eggs in a, a tin pan or whatever. Yeah. Syrup, like I poured syrup on the pussy. Oh, while that's dope. Sex and licked it off. I've, I've always like, wanted to do a food thing like yeah, that. I'm not having done one. I took eggs out the fridge and on her butt. It was so much fun. That sounds. So that fun. sounds fun. It was. It was crazy because I don't know. So much fun though. I uh, listen. I'm with the food shit. I was trying to do some food shit with. with we're gonna do some stuff tomorrow. We're supposed to do like a little mukbang stuff for the thoughtathon. Yeah. We're gonna have to do like a little hot dog. Oh, the thoughtathon! I forgot that. Yeah, thoughtathon's tomorrow so noon. You at least gotta show up, and I, 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 I do up. need. I'm here all weekend. I do need some. Right, right, right. Um, I do need some dicks for the dick sucking contest. Say less. You there? What? Let's go. Tell, every, <laughs> tell everybody who's involved. I'm gonna Savage. need a couple people, a couple dicks to line up, and we're gonna get everyone going at the same time. Savvy J just volunteered his dick for a dick sucking contest. Okay, we in there. We in there. We will see you it's tomorrow. On time. Thank you. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate Thanks you. for stopping by the rabbit hole. Absolutely. Anytime. I love it. Thank y'all. We gonna uh, I think we're gonna get Monet Divine over here in a second and call the rap. But um, yeah, y'all stay tuned because it's about to get even better tomorrow. Well, hello, Miss Divine. Hi, beautiful. Miss Monet Divine, how you doing? How doing, are doing. You? You're, I'm I've good. been waiting to do this forever. I've, listen, I asked you last year, but you haven't really been to Vegas. Or the time you did, I don't think I was here. I haven't been to Vegas. You haven't. I've, I lived in Vegas, and when I left, I was like. I'm not coming back. Yeah, it's, nah. Vegas has some really weird memories for me. It's, I understand. It's got some for me too. It's yeah. me a lot to come back up here too. But you know, and yeah. the show was doing good, so I was like, let me come back up here. So, but I we appreciate have, you finally sitting down with me. Of course. So, for people who don't know who Monet Divine is, hey. give us a little background about who you are. Um, I am a oh god, would I call myself a veteran now? Or, yes. Yeah, I'm a I'm a 20 year veteran. So you've been in the game for a, a minute. A long time. Yeah. Before iPhones. I like before to tell iPhones. people that. Before iPhones. I was in the like game before iPhones. Like people actually had to go get my videos. Oh no, you had to stand in line in the DVD store to get a video, a porn video then. You had to That's go then. at 3 o'clock in the morning when your wife was asleep. 
<laughs> go behind <laughs> the curtain. Go behind. No, dead ass. Yeah. You have to go behind the little black curtain and find your favorite video. That's dope. Yeah, that was the day. That's real that dedication. That's real fan dedication. Like I'm those. Go out. What's really funny is back in those days. Those were the days where we used to do signings in the video stores. Yeah. The only way you could meet a porn star was to go to AVN and stand in a three-hour line. Yeah. Those fans. Those are fans. Yeah. Shout out to all those fans. I love you guys so much because a lot of you guys are still around 20 years later. Yeah. It's and really crazy. I, I was telling somebody that earlier, Trust that most of my fans, like, they've been around for eight yeah, girl, plus years. Like, before I was even decades. in this shit. Like, exactly. when I was at the ranch and when I was escorting the stuff. The ranch. I was at the Bunny Ranch, girl. I was at Sherry's. Oh, you were? Chicken Ranch and the Bunny Ranch. In See, the bitch, bunny. we was outside. We I feel like we've always been <laughs> kind of like, yes, almost in each other's too. life. This is really funny. That's we dope. was outside, outside before anybody was yeah outside. we was outside <laughs> we was outside for sure like those, I, those were the days though i loved those it I, mean, I, 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 like I, the I like where i'm at now but um there definitely was some experiences there that i like i'm glad that i got yeah you know too. what i mean me too i feel the I, same way yeah it definitely taught me one how to do a multiple personalities at one time mm -hmm. other than like because i came from corporate world yeah. So like, cause it, did you ever really do anything square first? Or you kind of went straight into the sex I'm industry. I'm not gonna lie to you. I went straight into the sex industry. Yeah. I went from, and this is gonna sound horrible, but I went from like the track hoe with a pimp. Yeah, to girl, me too. Vegas is a carpet hoe. Yeah. <laughs> um, from that to sh the strip clubs, I've done all the strip clubs. Yeah. Um, and then one day I was like, I'm gonna try the brothel. Yeah. Because I did all the escort services, and back then, you know, the escort services were a little funny. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like they're they still took, a little funny. They're still a little funny. What it's Vegas, usually somebody's you know I mean? bottom bitch covering it up. Yes, and they just really, yeah, covering it up and pretending to be an agency. We're not gonna talk about yeah. that though. I mean, we can talk about it. <laughs> oh, we talk about we, that. We, Cause yeah, maybe when that we is... come to the to the interview, we could have you come to the studio. We'll do a long hour yes, interview. Yes, we can really like get we in. We have some history. Like yeah. we definitely do. I feel like, like we've been six a, yeah. six degrees away for a long we time. We really have. I've always heard your name, and I'm like. Who is and until we finally met at Miami last yes, year. Yeah. I was like, I felt like I know you though. Now what's really funny is I feel like you're the only one that really we've experienced a lot of the same stuff as far as how our careers evolved. Built. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That no, stair step. That. A lot of these girls jump straight into OnlyFans. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they've never experienced that. They don't get that. Being other outside at three o'clock in the morning, getting chased by some random. Yeah. Pimp. Not being able to come home because you ain't hit quota. Exactly. <laughs> getting yelled at because that brothel check, half of it stays at that yeah, brothel. <laughs> 50% off 50 bad. Then they charge you on top of it, they charge you to get tested weekly. On top and of it, you still you pay room eat. and board. Room and board, yeah. Food, so, room and board. And you're getting taxed on what you got, what you made. Everything. You're getting taxed on what you made, not after all the other, and like, it was a lot. Don't come home and try to explain that, that, all that stuff. Well, good thing my man was locked up at the time, so I could oh, get away with it. He was lucky. Yeah. He was lucky. He was honey. That was a lot. Yeah. Porn saved me. I believe it. It's it. Did. Yeah. Porn saved me. Porn the gave whole me, industry did. Yeah. Porn yeah. gave me my first check that was mine, that was in my name, where I got to look at him and be like, you know what? I don't have to give this to you to cash. Yeah. I can do this myself. Yeah. Oh, I'm outside. <laughs> and I left on that day. That's, and I never looked back. Really? And then I taught girls to become independent. I used to go on the track and steal girls from pimps. I love that and story. And teach them how to be independent. Yeah. So they would not have to go through the same shit that I went through. Yeah. Like, and and I always try to, I, I've explained it before in the past. I was like, there's definitely a difference between gorilla pimps, gentleman pimps, and all. Like, it's there's just so many people trying to take advantage. I only really know is. out of all the peas I know, there's maybe like two or three that are really holding their chicks down. I agree with you. That are really like, put them in a better, them bitches would not be shit without them. Without them. But... The, it's not the majority, and it's a lot really of a lot not. of them is getting it's, taken advantage of. A lot of girls are getting taken advantage of, and I feel like with OnlyFans, nobody talked about that yeah. for these girls. You yeah. know what I mean? Like right now, everything's all glittery and glitzy and and beautiful, and oh, it's so much fun, and oh, I make a hundred thousand dollars a month. But what's gonna happen when you're forty and you want a husband? Yeah. Yeah. Who sucks eighteen dicks? And it's and it's on public. camera. On camera. <laughs> that ain't going away, honey. It's not. That's not going away. And nobody told them that. Yeah. Nobody Especially for the ones that got burned out fast. Yes. Like if, if you're not willing to make it a career, and that's what like the weekend warriors. Like I yes, couldn't stand that, that shit. Me but so there's still much. that mentality even in it this. Is. 
It's like, Still oh, right I might now. make a couple extra hundred bucks this week. And I'm like, now this, some of us really do this full time. This is our, this is this our is life. Like yeah. we really take this shit seriously. We yeah. put the money up for it. We pay for the locations. We pay for the hair. We pay for the makeup. It Traveling. is not a game for us. Yeah. We learn how to speak publicly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we really take this as a business. Yeah. These little girls ain't doing that. Yeah. Well, hopefully, <laughs> with doing shit like this, we set an example, and it'll just, it'll make an industry norm. That's what I've always. That's said. what I'm hoping for too. That's why yeah. I started the show because I wanted there to be. There's so many bad chicks I knew, like like you and Kendra and all these girls that took that game and were like, "Let me show, like, let's do something let's with it." Let's do something. And with now, it. like, yeah, we gonna monetize off it because we put the time in, so we deserve that. But at the same time, we still learn how to build up the next. And I love in. that. I love that yeah. you did that with a sh with the show, and that you talk about everything. Yeah, why not? nobody does. Nobody does, and it's not gonna change it. We do, yeah, and there's true. there's so many times, and like the fact that you said it saved you because Yayo was in here earlier, and I was telling him that he's one of the younger male talents, mm -hmm. right? Like, I was like, boy, you done grew up, you yeah. know, like from when I met him at Pink Party last year, he grew up. yeah, he was a wreck, yeah, he was ready wow. to party, and fuck everything, and was just wasted. He came wow. here, like, I don't even drink no more, yeah, porn saved me, yeah. I'm cool, I'm focused. I was like. Yeah. But those are the stories that people Mortal people need to see. That's that's exactly. They need to that's see that because exactly what they it's do. just normalizing like it's not it's that okay to have bad. sex. Yeah. It's okay to have sex. It's okay to be who you are. It's okay to be comfortable with your body whether you're a size 0 or a size 80. Yeah. It's okay. You know what I mean? And society has spent so much time telling us that it's not okay mm -hmm. that it's drilled into our heads. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> be free. <laughs> For real. Be like, free. Really Sexually be free. free. Be weird free. You, know you want to be weird, no be free. No matter what your fetish is, no matter what weird shit you're into, that's okay. Yeah. Because it's something for everybody. As long as you're not hurting nobody and everyone's consensual. Exactly. And everyone's of age. Exactly. It's cool. Because it okay. there's a big difference between <laughs> sex work and sex trafficking. And we ain't here working. We're not trafficking shit. We got our own shit. We're our own businesses. Well, a lot of people got families, kids at yes, home. Yes, guys, we are like, not trafficking. We are not trafficking. <laughs> we are working. They think that sometimes, too. <laughs> yeah, they all think we're like victims. We're kidnapping, girls. Yeah. No, we're not doing any of that. No. <laughs> they sign consent forms. <laughs> yeah. We good. We got them right here. <laughs> like, it's really crazy. I'm Because I was went down for an, like with my ex because he got a Rico conspiracy really? for pimping. And they try to, you know, get me on that, too. Like, it's the same wow. thing. We're like, we just knew what they signed up for. Yeah. Yeah. It was crazy. It was a lot. That's that's society, though. Yeah, that is it society is. society telling us that because we're free and we're open and we're willing to use our bodies for what they're worth. Like, I'm yeah. sorry. Like, I'd rather have sex for money than have sex for free. All day. Sorry, guys. Let me see. Like, what is the difference? Because if you listen, and this was one, one of my biggest points, people could go get $40,000 to be a surrogate. That is you so are true. selling it's your the body. Same thing. You're selling your body. And you're selling a bigger piece of your body because that is something that you have to carry inside yourself for a very, very long time. Yeah. It is a beautiful thing, yeah. but it is also emotional. Very coaster. emotional, yeah. But it is the exact same thing. You're you selling, selling your body. So why, like, why can you sell your body in that way, but I can't sell my body exactly. this way? Exactly. You know why? Because they can't figure out how much to tax us. Exactly. <laughs> Let's be one hundred. Y'all can't figure out how to tax exactly, for the amount of pussy that I give away. Exactly. For the price that I give away. Y'all don't know from. how to make money off of They ain't figured out. Once so they figure out how to tax the pussy, they'll, they'll it'll be, be okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> then it'll be okay. That's exactly you know how they figured out how to tax the pussy? They put us on OnlyFans. They put us on OnlyFans. <laughs> they made us get licensing to dance at the strip club. Yeah. They made us open up LLCs on our vaginas. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, if you open an LLC on us. your vagina, it's fine. It's legal then. Mm hmm. Because it's we used to have, at, even at the uh, Bunny Ranch, I have a, I still have my I license. I still have my license. Yeah. Ah, my license still good, guys. Yeah. It says license, a licensed <laughs> prostitution. <laughs> I'm about to go sell some pussy. You can't say shit. I'm in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I got a license to sell. Let me, let me not have y'all out here thinking that you can buy pussy in Vegas. No, you cannot no, you get, buy illegal. pussy in Vegas. You have to be at a you brothel. You can buy pussy in Nevada. Yeah, outside of this county. Outside of this county. You have to go to a brothel. You can't just pick up a... Don't, a lot don't, of people think that. Don't say Vegas. we told y'all to go buy no. pussy in Vegas. <laughs> no, it's illegal here, y'all. We're going to get all kinds of emails tomorrow. They like, said... Y'all told us y'all could, we could no. buy pussy in Vegas. No. It's illegal. Hey, you can't <laughs> buy pussy out here but it's not legal yeah it's not legal <laughs> we did not co-sign that so. no but uh <laughs> if you do it legally or whatever yeah, yeah 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 we're good. working we're not we're not trafficking no no trafficking <laughs> Girl, 
She don't mess around and get all kinds of emails tonight. I'm done. I'm like, harass them. I'm, I'm like, wink. I'm done. <laughs> But listen, Sounds I just feel great. like I'm glad that um, I'm, I can be part of the, like the pioneering of the sex industry. I feel like me too. You know what I mean? I feel like it's a new wave of like modern feminism me and too. sexual freedom, and I'm I'm proud to be part of it. Me too. I'm yeah. very proud to be part of it. I love um, telling the story to to everyone. Actually, like people always ask me, like, oh, do you regret that you spent? a decade basically your entire life in an industry that is so frowned upon and i don't i no. think it made me exactly who i am yeah um and it let me see a lot of stuff that i don't think i would have got to see yeah you know what i well, mean because yeah, you're a little introverted when you're not in working i am i'm yeah. very very introverted um and but being introverted and being like that and not really focusing on a lot of the things that other girls focus on like while other girls were buying louis bags i was in greece yeah yeah <laughs> like in costa rica and rome and yeah Egypt. we've been traveling a lot I this year like, I'm, I'm so ready you for love it. it right love it love it and i feel like if i hadn't done this though i wouldn't have that freedom. for sure i wouldn't get to see those things across the world that i got to see and now i'm like outside and i'm like i meet younger people in the art industry and i say you know, let me take you somewhere. Yeah. We want to start doing travel vlogs. Yeah, we want to oh start doing like God. little groups that people do little that travel vlogs. That would blogs. be awesome. Yeah, it'd be That fire. would be awesome. It's nothing more exciting than taking someone somewhere that they've never been. Yeah, that's dope. And you experiencing it. We're going to have to do a travel time. vlog with my name. You I feel like we got to go. Yes, That'd yes. be a vibe. You guys should come outside. Do you know what's me. crazy I thought about? <laughs> like sometimes I'll go to the airport. I'm in the, sometimes I'm in the airport like five times in a week, right? Yeah. Just here, here, yeah, here, here. Me too. To sit sometimes if someone's like, it's my first time on an airplane and they're like in their fifties and sixties, I'm like I've had those. I feel bad for them. People. I'm like, I've how have you lived that people. life so stale where yeah. you were just been in the same and place? You haven't been anywhere. It's and crazy. And they're so pumped up and I love it. Like there's nothing more there was nothing more amazing for me than sitting on the side of a mountain in Liberia, Costa Rica, and overlooking the ocean with nothing there but yeah. complete silence. Oh, yeah, that's dope. Like, it was amazing. That's dope. You know what I mean? And I feel like... Have you been to Bali? I have. Indonesia. I love it. Myself. Really? I went <laughs> for a I'm week. Introvert. I went from I went for a week with a, with a content group. Mm -hmm. It was honestly... I loved everything about the country, but the people I was with was shitty. Oh, so I yeah. definitely want to go back. I want to go back. We do a travel blog. Oh, I'm okay. with and that me shit. And you in Bali? Oh, that'd be oh, crazy. Honey. I we love outside. it. <laughs> Plus, my London boyfriend's brother lives over there, so he'll probably... Oh, look at you. Yeah, listen. Because <laughs> I know he... You know why? Because he he's like... I feel like it would be able to like get stuff out there, you know, like take you to places that like nobody else nobody would be able to, because he lives there now. Like he left London and he's like, I'm never coming back. I'm going to Bali. That's how much he loved you it. You know what's really funny? I felt that way. Yeah. I like I could, way. like if I was going to disappear, that would be where I'm going to be in Indonesia That's for sure. exactly where I would go. Bye. Oh, I love They were the nicest human that. beings I've ever met in my and life. It was beautiful. I never felt scared or threatened no, or guys, like I felt at peace putting, every day. Like, she's putting you up on so much game right now. Indonesia is like a cheap Miami. Stop going to Miami. Hey. Everybody's been to Miami. Maybe so even all that. The food is trash. Yeah, I don't really. Girl. Every time I go there, I get sick. Indonesia, that Cuban food. This shit is the worst. You spend a bunch of money on a hotel room. All you see is South Beach. It, yeah. it just all looks the same. I'm telling you guys, go to Indonesia, man. Go yeah. to Indonesia. Indonesia reminded me of yeah. the cheap Miami. The next one I want to go to is amazing. Greece. That's my next goal. Greece. Nothing, nothing more amazing than sitting up on the hill in front of Poseidon's Temple. Poseidon's Temple? Oh, that'd be I did fire. It. I did that. That's Being dope. We got to go do some stuff, girl. I'm outside with you. I love it. We're going to piss the people off, and I'm here for it. I will go outside with you, and they just going to have to be mad. That's fine. I love it. Cause <laughs> I'm just about, I'm like, good vibes, good energy. I'm with it all. Yes, me too. So tell us a little bit about how you got hooked up with Girls Gone Wireless and that crew. Um, honestly, oh God, how do I remember this story? <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time. I've been with Girls Gone Wireless a long time. Yeah. Um, I want to say that my first party was through Virgo. 
Yeah. Virgo, you know, Virgo's part of Girls Go She's not Wireless. coming. Was she that, not here this trip? No, Aww. she's not here this trip. Yeah. But she'll be here at the next. I love Virgo. She's a vibe. Um, yeah, yeah, that's that's bad. Yeah. So Virgo was coming, and me and her kind of hooked up through mutual friends. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as we met, we were instantly besties. It's the love of my life. Um, and then I met Kendra and Stay Ready, and it's been family ever since. Yeah, that's fire. That's and dope. here I am. Have you, um, <laughs> is this the first event that you've been to where fans were here? No, I was in the, was it Orlando? Orlando? Oh, yeah, Orlando. Orlando. Oh, yeah, I was yeah. in Orlando, you bet. Yeah, Orlando. Yeah, yeah I was in New Orlando. How was, was, how was that experience being compared to, like, other other places? Like, do you I like it? I would be personally it? honest with you. The fans are awesome. They're really the cool. The ones that they pick are absolutely awesome. Yeah. They're always respectful. They're always sweet. They're always down to earth. They're not like, oh, what's happening? Or yeah. anything like that. They're not creepy. I don't. You almost don't even notice it. Yeah, they were. I got to interview two of them. They came and chilled, and it was. They were. They were really nice yes, guys. They you were don't, cool. Almost don't even notice that they're fans. Yeah, and, and I like that. Like That's they're, dope. they vibe into the circle. Just so game for any fans in the future that ever want to come to Girls Gone Wireless. You know, it's everyone's so chill. You really. Just be yourself. Exactly. And just be respectful. Everybody's accepted. Yeah. Like, we're not one of those parties where we look at people like, it doesn't matter what size you are. It doesn't matter what you do for a living. It doesn't matter how much money you make. If you have enough, you come to Girls Gone Wireless, you'll have a great time. Yeah. No and you're going to make money. You come here for. You're going to make money afterwards. It's, a, it's worth the investment. It's worth the investment. It's definitely worth the investment. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna have to get a little uh, spin, you know, because because oh, you you rock, it, you know I like yeah, you know fast <laughs> and all. I listen, I like fast I was yeah. telling, I, I got a couple that. classic pieces or fast class. I saw the classic <laughs> ass right there. Facet pieces. We love facet. Yeah, he's he's super dope, and I was telling her earlier, <laughs> facet. <laughs> You you know you were you know you were strong opinionated man, <laughs> oh, but I love everything the fact that you don't give a fuck and that you are authentically yourself. And you, get my and you gave us in. a couple extra two inches for the fat <laughs> pussies, <laughs> so we appreciate that as fat pussy bitches. Yeah. So yeah, we don't gotta keep pulling it up. This thing don't like to stay in nothing, honey. No, <laughs> it does not. This but this is like beautiful on you. Nothing. Yeah, I love it. So, well, thank you for drop, dropping by. I definitely want you to come back so we can do like a real yes. get into some topics. Yes. So, well, but I we thank have you. A lot to talk about. I appreciate <laughs> everyone to just do this with you for a minute. So, love you guys. Thank you again. Tell everyone where they can follow you just so make sure that, you know. They uh, my Instagram is the Monet Divine, uh, D I V I N E, not the fake one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then my Twitter is the same, Monet Divine. And same thing with my OnlyFans. Do you have a Monet website at .com? Um, yeah, www.monetavinetriplex.com. All right, so you should be able to get all your links yeah. on there. Yeah, Dope. you should get everything there. You should make sure you guys figure it out, because do you have a few scenes with some of the fans, too? Um, I think I do tomorrow. Tomorrow? I think I'm definitely going to do a, yeah. a hot BJ tomorrow. Oh, you, know, you got to check it out. The throat goat is back. The throat goat. Mine's <laughs> not back yet. Yours not back yet. No, girl. Let's, we, we got, I got No, it. look, look. Oh, baby. I just had surgery. My throat collapsed from oh, throat goating. No. I had to go have reconstructive oh. fucking throat lift. It's bad. You gotta be careful. I with got the three weeks. I'm about to be. Going. Listen, I don't know whose dick I'm gonna suck first. Don't shove the whole dick down your throat. No. Too ready. <laughs> no, there was years of repetitive trauma. Oh, what's wrong with me then? Cause, honey, oh yeah, I woke up this morning, shoved one all the way down. My yeah, throat. girl, I don't know what happened. Y'all be careful when y'all trying to do. Ladies, you really can't. Like, you gotta make sure um, you, you know, warm it up. Yeah, you drink some tea. Oh, just, just like you would your... <laughs> you know I mean? Don't end up like her. Don't end up like me. <laughs> I, it was just years of repetitive trauma. It's never going away. Yeah. Don't but look, like if we got some baddies out here back here, can we get a little pan, a little panoram? We got a little. We got a lot of. We got a lot of baddies out here. Everyone's shooting. Everyone's having a vibe. I'm going to go slap somebody's ass. She's definitely, and she's slapped my ass before too. So yeah, I, I definitely made some money off of that video. We did. <laughs> we did some nasty shit. We we're going to circle that back. We're going to so. circle back. Yeah, so so y'all make sure you guys check out Monet Divine. We about to actually cut it out because we got the thought thought tomorrow. We got the relay race and the individual contest coming on tomorrow. We're going to do a few Sounds events. Sounds fun. So it should be fun. We're going to have a uh, Las Vegas scoop, toxic hour, and a good friend of my maze is going to judge tomorrow for um, the dick suck and squirt contest, mukbangs. We're doing it all tomorrow. Yeah. So you guys stay tuned. And thank you always, always, always from down a rabbit hole. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.